Hi, I'm Ann from Cooking Light, and I'm here today to talk you through some of our most frequently asked questions. They all have to do with how to measure flour. Now, in our recipes, we call for flour by weight first. So, for example, in a recipe, we'll say 4.5 ounces of flour, about one cup. Now, we encourage people to weigh their flour because that's really going to give you the most precise amount, the most precise measurement. And if you only have measuring cups, that's fine. Don't worry about it. I'll show you how to do that. But it's only ever going to be about one cup. The only way to be completely sure you're getting one cup, really, is to weigh it. Now, why is it important that you be this accurate? Well, with light baking, it's super important. We don't have a lot of butter to throw at our cakes and our cookies, so everything is very precise. If you get a tablespoon or two or three or an ounce of flour more than you intend or than we intend, you're going to end up with a cake that's maybe a little bit dry or not so tender. So it's very important to measure that flour correctly. Let's get started. I'll show you. So here I've gathered a canister of flour a dry measuring cup and a digital scale. Now, if you were using a scale, you wouldn't measure first into a measuring cup, but I just have it here for the purposes of demo. So to properly measure flour, you want to lightly spoon it from the canister into the measuring cup and then level off the excess with the flat side of a knife. If you've measured properly, you'll get four and a half ounces, and that's exactly what I got here. One cup of flour is four and a half ounces. Now, let me show you what I've seen some po folks do. It's not exactly the best way to measure. What they do is they go into the canister and they scoop the flour out instead of spooning it into the measuring cup. What that does is it actually compacts the flour, packs it down into the measuring cup, and then maybe they tap it, tap the cup to try to get some of the excess off, and that's compacting the flour down there even more. So look, this, when you weigh it, weighs almost five and a half ounces, almost a full ounce more than you want. And that's not great. It's going to make your cake maybe a little tougher. So now on to a huge area of confusion. I have folks often say, now doesn't one cup of flour weigh eight ounces? Well, a cup of flour weighs 4.5 ounces, and I know exactly where this confusion is coming from. If you look at a liquid measuring cup, those are the kinds usually with a handle and a spout, it shows that one cup equals eight ounces. Now they're talking about liquid there, and um, it gets even more confusing than that, but we'll just, we'll just keep it at that. So I have one cup of properly measured flour, I've already weighed it, in the dry measuring cup, and I'm going to spoon it into the liquid measuring cup to make two points. First off, you can't really get a precise amount because you can't level off the excess and make sure you have the exact amount. Also, that whole eight ounces thing, it's confusing. They're talking about liquid. Now, let me show you my favorite thing about measuring flour by weight with the scale. Okay, you don't have to first scoop into a measuring cup and then weigh it. No, you can just spoon your flour directly from the canister into the container that's on the scale. So you're free from measuring cups, and you're free from worrying if you actually got the right amount of flour or not. You know exactly how much flour you've gotten when you weigh it, and then that'll give you peace of mind, and it'll give you better desserts. So that's it. That's our tutorial on flour. Happy baking, everybody. And please, please send us all your questions. We don't want anything to stand between you and great cooking.